Hey, welcome to point to point channel as part of Java 8 series. Today I will discuss how to sort a map in Java 8. Okay, yeah, without wasting time, let's jump into the coding part. Yeah, so I have a map uh, you know, with the key as integer and value as string. So I have some bunch of values uh, you know, uh, related to some fr fruits information. Okay, so here if you see, uh, <clears throat> Yeah, so prior to Java 8, if at all, if you want to print the key value pairs of your map, like we were supposed to do something like this. So, you know, um, so first of all, we need to take the help of entry set method. Okay, uh, so we need to, if we invoke this entry set method, basically it returns a, a set, a set, uh, you know, of a generic type map dot entry. So this is important map dot entry. So, you know, within the map interface okay internally we do have one more nested interface that is entry interface okay so that entry interface represents a key value pair okay so you know that interface again uh, has few methods like get key get value or something like that right earlier so now once uh, we have this particular set you know we used to iterate that particular set in a traditional uh, for loop uh, methodology right so <clears throat> so this is how we used to print uh, you know uh, the key value pairs from your map uh, prior to java 8 now if at all we want to do the same operation in java 8 it's a very simple so you know um, so it's a just a one line job okay so this is your map fruits is your map now straight away uh, you know they just introduced for each method within the map interface itself Okay, which expects a by consumer. Okay, so here if you, okay, I will show you the API. So here, uh, one second. Yeah, so here if you see, see this is the interface map. Okay, this is the interface map. Uh, so here if you see, if you come down, so this is a map dot entry. This is a nested interface, whatever I said just now. Okay, so here if you see, uh, <clears throat> So here, uh, yeah, see this is the for each method. So here, this is the for each method. Okay, so this for each method expects a by consumer. So by consumer, you know, normal for each method, uh, you know, in the case of list and uh, uh, set, you know, they used to extend, extend a collection interface, right? So in that collection interface already, they just introduced this uh, for each method, which expects a consumer. But in the case of map, since map does not extend a collection interface, you know, so Java 8 team straight away they just introduced this for each method within the map interface itself. Okay. So for example here if you see, see this is a set for example I am showing. Okay. So here if you see uh, within the set we don't have any for each method. Why? Why? Because see set end of the day it extends a collection interface. Within the collection interface you know if you see here we have a stream method, parallel stream method everything is there right. So now, you know, collection again, it extends a iterable uh, interface. Now within the iterable, we have a for each method, right? So now what and all interfaces which are extending collection interface, obviously they get this for each method, right? Well, because for each method is available in super, super interface that is iterable interface. But in the case of, uh, you know, map, map does not extend collection. So, you know, so that's why uh, within the map, straight away they just introduced this for each method okay which method for each method this one so by consumer in the sense you know right two arguments we, we need to pass so that's why here if you see uh, I, I just pass two arguments key and value and then I just uh, you know uh, printing those values so th this is uh, how see uh, I mean this is how we used to handle in the case of Java 8 okay so <coughs> yeah I'll, I'll run this program uh, finally okay so here if you see uh, if at all we want to sort the map uh, by the keys okay so prior to java 8 that means java 6 or java 7 we used to handle something like this okay so we need to uh, we need to uh, you know uh, create a new tree map you know uh, with your hash map something like this here if you see new tree map that you need to pass that hash map okay then again you need to iterate the you know your tree map then obviously it will sort by keys right so now uh, in the java 8 okay how to how to sort the map by keys in a very simplified way okay so that i will show okay so here if you see so fruits is my map right 
so in the fruits okay so here if you see uh, see this is the map right so uh, this is a map uh, api in java 8 right so here if you see uh, entry set so this is important so this entry set of course this entry set was there in the uh, java 5 6 7 also but here if you see uh, i am i'm taking the help of the same entry set why why because i will get the set set of set of generic type of map dot entry of key value pair right so let me hit this let me invoke this uh, so set dot entry set right so now what we got we got set right so now if you have a set happily you can invoke the stream method right why because stream method is available in the collection interface right so now dot stream see dot stream now you got a stream now within the stream okay so everyone knows uh, you know we have an intermediate operation that is sorted right so this is sorted so now sorted method has two flavors one is without arguments and the second one is with arguments that is comparator method right so now obviously we need to uh, we need to make use of the second flavor that is uh, you know with argument uh, of comparator type so here here obviously now i need to give a implementation to that comparator right so now in java 8 team okay what they thought okay so they have given some predefined methods okay so here uh, let me show you so here if you see this is a uh, map dot entry whatever i said right just some time before entry is a one more interface within a map interface it's kind of a nested interface right here if you see enclosing interface map okay here this is important so here if you see if you just come down you know so they have given so many static methods here if you see comparing by key and the without arguments and comparing by key uh, by passing some uh, uh, specific comparator similarly comparing by values without argument comparing by values with some comparator right and uh, apart from these methods uh, we do have some other methods like equals hash code and you know get key get value are there right so now you know so why don't we make use of this static methods you know to sort our map by keys right so now here if you see why because see here if you see end of the day we need to pass a comparator if you invoke this comparing by key obviously it is returning a comparator right so here if you see uh, <clears throat> yeah so here if you see this is a comparator right so then uh, you know uh, we are fulfilling a requirement of sorted method right so here if you see uh, uh, what i am passing so here map dot entry okay dot comparing by key okay comparing by key that's it okay so here uh, of course now uh, we have a obviously this is sorted method returns a stream right so now straight away i can uh, you know invoke the for each method obviously this is a set so a set means a single consumer right so here uh, what i am saying uh, e okay e sop okay so what i am saying e in the sense e represents a map dot entry right so then e dot okay e dot get key okay so what i'm saying here uh, uh, some colon okay e dot get value okay so something like this i can print okay so let me run this <clears throat> see how simple it is you know i just invoked this entry set by that way i got a some set then uh, we, once we have a set i simply invoke the stream method then we got a stream now once we have a stream then i am invoking a sorted method which is an intermediate operation so sorted method expects a comparator so i am just invoking a uh, you know a static method which was introduced newly in the map dot entry interface which which returns a comparator right so then finally i am just invoking a for each method very simple right so see see the outputs of you know prior to java it uh, you know earlier we i mean we just iterated uh, our fruits map right so then using a java 8 the same output we got you know using a for each method so here if you see uh, so sort a map by keys in java 7 so i just uh, uh, shown you i mean first we need to convert it to tree map right so say this was the output okay so the same output we got you know uh, here if you see just know uh, you know sort a map by keys in java 8 so that's what i have shown you right here if you see uh, that's what i have shown you right so see this is the output of uh, uh, our newly written method right so then 
<clears throat> okay in case in case if you want to uh, if you want to you know uh, convert to a map if you want to return return uh, uh, you know this particular output in the form of map let's assume okay so then what you need to do okay uh, so you need to <clears throat> You need to do dot collect okay dot collect so collect collectors dot to map you need to take the help of to map okay so by that way see your sorted method basically returns in uh, extreme right so the, this is kind of intermediate operation now I am invoking a terminal operation so collectors dot to map so uh, so then what we need to do okay so for example this expects a function right to map expects a function right so here what we need to do e dot get key something like this right so then uh, uh, <clears throat> um, e dot get value okay something like this okay so then uh, uh, what i am saying e1 comma e2 okay so i am saying e1 so this is to resolve ambiguity in case if you have a same keys okay so then uh, you know just to uh, maintain the sorted uh, output what we need to do we need to convert or take the help of link hash map okay so linked hash map uh, one second yeah so linked hash map and after that after that okay so dot for each okay so now you got a map now right so since you have a map how to iterate a map using a for each obviously it expects a by consumer so then you you can simply uh, convert this particular line with this particular line right so yeah so i'm just taking uh, the help of this line so here if you see I'm just uh, doing some copy paste yeah so yeah so what we have done okay so in case you know uh, in case if you if at all you want to uh, you know uh, <clears throat> return a map okay for example if you want to return a map then you know once uh, once you have a once you invoke your sorted method then obviously uh, it returns a stream right so then you need to invoke a terminal operation uh, you know which is collectors dot to map so by that way you can convert your sorted output to a map of uh, key value pace right so that's what we have done here you know uh, <clears throat> So th this first first value is to you know this is a function to uh, maintain a key and the second one is a uh, function this is also a function to maintain a value okay the third third argument is to resolve the ambiguity in case if you have a same keys okay the, the fourth argument is linked hash map we are just creating why right? because linked hash map maintains the insertion order right so the same sorted output whatever we got just in the previous step uh, you can uh, you can maintain the same sorted uh, uh, output with the help of linked hash map right. So no, I so just for demonstration purpose, I am just you know uh, you know invoking for each method. Basically, if at all you want to return a map, then you no need to, you no need to invoke. Uh, you can skip this particular line. Okay. So <clears throat> so now now also if I run the same method, okay, you will get the same output. Okay, you will get the same same output. So. <clears throat> So it's taking a while yeah so here if you see you have got the same output right uh, not here one second uh, so this one so you can you can see this SOP sort sort the map okay by keys in Java 8 see you have got the same output okay so then uh, okay so the, okay so far uh, everything is looking good okay for example i want to sort a map by keys that to in a reverse order reverse order in the sense uh, okay uh, the highest integer uh, uh, key should come first okay so then just to save some time okay i'm just copying this code okay 
so here i have shown you right so comparing by key we have two flavors right so here if you see comparing by key without argument so if, if you don't pass the argument then by default it will sort the keys uh, you know uh, <clears throat> you know in, in uh, if they are the uh, you know strings means alphabetical order integers means uh, you know ascending order or something like that basically your key should implement a comparable interface then only it will work otherwise it will throw a class test exception okay so now uh, now your requirement is different now you want to sort a map by keys that in a reverse order now you need to take the help of second flavor that is comparing by key this uh, which expects a comparator right so now you know what i am going to do so here uh, i'm just uh, uh, I'm just invoking uh, comparator dot reverse order. See why? Because end of the day, it, ex it expects a one more comparator, right? So the comparator dot reverse order. Okay. So basically, so basically it will. Uh, so let me run this. So basically, it will uh, uh, show the output, uh, you know, uh, in a reverse way. <clears throat> so. Yeah. So here if you see, uh, so this one, reverse order, this one, here you can see, first we got 5, then 4, right, then 3, 2, 1, right, so that's what I have shown, okay, so after that, okay, uh, how to sort a map by values, okay, so prior to Java 8, we used to write this much bulky code, you know, uh, whenever you want to sort your map by values, so what I, what I, what we need to do here, okay, so first, uh, earlier we used to, you know, write a comparator, okay, so for example here in, in our case the value is string so that's why you know i have written some comparator okay so comparator of type map dot entry okay then you know i just uh, uh, you know give uh, give a implementation to that uh, what you say compare method so something like this s1 dot compare to now i'm just passing this uh, uh, comparator okay so here if you see i'm just passing this comparator to uh, this collections dot sort method okay so you know we need to create one more list okay so this particular list here if you see uh, i'm just passing these entries okay so what is this entries so here if you see um yeah so entries in the sense you know um what do you say yeah so basically whenever we invoke entry set method you will get set right so that set i am just passing to here so by that way now i got list okay so this particular list i'm just passing to collections.sort and i just pass this comparator right so then we need to create some linked hash map new linked hash map uh, you know with this particular list of entries yeah, with size okay then you know slowly we need to insert uh, uh, our uh, you know uh, what you say uh, we need to feed this sorted output to this linked hash map okay here if you see we are just uh, you know uh, inserting these values right then finally we need to print the value so we need to write this much bulky code earlier you know there was no other option okay prior to java 8 okay so now in java 8 it is very very simple okay so i'm just you know uh, copying the same code whatever i have written earlier okay so here if you if you see uh, okay so before this i just want to show you the output uh, you know of uh, this uh, bulky code okay so here if you see uh, yeah if you come down okay so this was the output okay here if you see now it, now you have got a uh, output by value see here if you see first uh, you got apple right so why because it's it's just sorted by values apple then followed by banana or something like this right now we are going to achieve the same output using the java 8 okay so java 8 here what we need to do just just remove this comparing by value okay that's it very simple so in, instead of invoking a comparing by key now you need to pass a comparing by value okay so then <clears throat> now if you want to sort your map by values that to in a reverse order okay so then you need to just copy this code okay so here okay so here you need to pass a comparator or something like this comparator okay dot reverse order so why why i already shown you right so here uh, see we do have one more flavor right comparing by value which expects a comparator the same method i just invoked here okay so here uh, okay now let me run this program finally okay <clears throat> yeah so 
so just at, at high level we need to invoke this comparing by value okay so in, in uh, since our strings already gave implementation to a comparable interface so that's why it is working we, even if, if you don't pass any argument also you uh, like we don't get any exception right so in case if you have uh, your value as any custom poso then you you know uh, you need to take care of uh, uh, no comparable implementation you need to implement a comparable interface otherwise you will get a class test exception just uh, just note this point see you have got the same output here see same output uh, see same output in the sense is, sorry it's a near reverse order reverse order in the sense here if you see mango got printed first and last uh, no apple okay so yeah i hope it is clear you know so i have shown you you know how to sort a map you know by keys you know uh, in a normal way and that too in a reverse order and similarly how to sort a map by values in a natural order and as well as in a reverse order okay and how we used to handle uh, the sorting by keys and values prior to java 8 that also i have shown you you know how to print the map you know you, uh, map uh, uh, you know in java 7 and as well as java 8 that also i have shown you okay so i hope uh, uh, i have covered uh, most of the things uh, you know related to sorting a map okay if you like this video please like and share and subscribe to my channel thank you